Hi there everybody! I'm going to use a white chalk pencil and a white gel. Oh, a white gel pencil because I'm working on an elite black tile. So I hope everybody's all right and I hope we can, uh, you know, make a start here. Now, usually with this, when I'm working with white, I'll come straight in with the, the jelly roll, but I'm not. I'm going to work with this pencil to start with because I don't necessarily want all of it when I've done. So if we're ready, let's get going. Nice and lightly with the pencil. Uh, you can actually, if you want to, use a regular pencil. It's just that on, on camera, it might not show up as, as much as I want it to. So, okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to come in and put myself a uh, bit of a wavy line. I don't want sort of it to be too close because I want to do things in between. Yours can be whatever you, you like. It's fine. So I'm going to double up with that. Yeah, I'm not going to go sort of too thick, but if it changes a little bit, that's okay. And of course, this we can actually rub away. It's almost like pencil, so you can uh, you'd be fine with it. So uh, let's all go. All right, so there we go. A little bit of a wobbly, wavy kind of shape there. And what I'd like to do now is I want to put one sort of through it. So I'm going to start in this space here. So I'm going to go over that one. And then under that one. And sort of around there. So again, I'm going to double up on that. You might find that yours are a little bit different. This is completely different to the one I drew anyway that I'm following. But that doesn't matter. Okay. So now I've got that in place. I'm going to come in with my pen. Always check that your gel pen is going to work, okay, before you get going with it. And I'm going to start by putting um, quite a bubble on the end there. You see, it's just going sort of around the outside edge. And then let's bring it up a bit, create like a little bead on the end. So I'm going to do that with the others too. So let's put this one in. So it's almost like a little bead like that. I'm not drawing any of this yet, don't need to. It's okay. Round again on this one. And up and along and in. And same with this one. And along and in. So I've just sort of got that on all the ends. It's okay, let's have a little look at this then. Starting, it doesn't matter where, we're going to do a few of these. I'm going to bring in like a little teardrop shape not too big and then on either side I'm going to bring in a little curved shape with a line in if you can get one in if it's a little bit narrow that's fine like so all right let's do another one of them I'm going to do it sort of uh, on this side here now I'm not going to worry about where these are going on the lines it's just about putting some on so I'm going to work in both sides same sort of shape so maybe you yeah, can put one here so start with that teardrop see take your time around those curves because you want to make sure that that gel takes and a line on this one with the one in the middle a line here one in the middle so let's have the one here you might find it better to do it half and half you know, there's uh, options there. You don't have to do it all the same all the time. You see, that one's a bit fatter than all the others. If that's, you know, maybe because I've done, I say half and half. But let's try top to bottom. There you go. Take your time with it. And then along. And down. Uh, just to say thank you as well for all your lovely comments yesterday about that quilt that I'd got on Sewing Street. I know quite a few of you messaged in about it, so I hope you managed to get hold of the, the book it was from. We're going to have a go at it. I think, uh, yeah, you're going to uh, have great fun with it, but don't think it's going to happen in, in a weekend. You've really got to go for it because it's quite a lot in it. I think I added up all my hours and I, I, I did actually 
have a deadline to stick to. So I actually got the front um, all done within a week. When I say a week, um, if you add up the hours, of like 40 hours in a week. That's probably what I spent on getting that front done. So it is a labour of love, but it looked great. I'm going to um, enter it in the festival of quilts, I think. Be nice to put it up there and have something hanging. Okay, see, I'm putting a few of these all over the place. Let's have a little look at where that's at. Yes, you've got quite a few building. I've not got many here, so it's always worthwhile stopping and just having a little look at where you think you could get a few more in. And one here. And you see, sort of here. I'm going to bring one in sort of part in there so it's going to sort of sit behind that one love doing that it gives you the impression that things are going over and under and let's put one in here and along and of course yesterday i saw andy and he'd um, hit the button for the uh, Craftopia event, if anybody is not sure about what that is, it's um, everybody goes to a hotel for the weekend, which is fantastic anyway. And then you do four projects with different tutors throughout the weekend. And then, uh, yeah, it's obviously places you can buy extra bits and pieces. But I think the classes themselves, it might be something that you've never thought of doing. And you think, oh, I'm not so sure. But, you know, you give it a go. And suddenly you think, actually, I wish I'd done that before. I know there's a, there's a couple of you out there that met me at the first Craftopia event I did. Back, oh, it's a couple of years ago now. And you've been tangled ever since. So I think this time there's going to be myself. We've got Carla going. I have no idea what she's going to be teaching. And I'm sure maybe she doesn't write at this minute. But she's lovely. You'll, you'll get on with Carla. And there's a, a lady, is it Tracy? She's doing jewellery. And then there's Wendy. I think it's Wendy Orlando from Sewing Street. I'd like to go to one of her classes. That would be great. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Okay, so I think I've got enough of those. I can always come and add more later. And what I'd like to do now is come back in here. And I'm going to bring in sort of a little curl on the side of each one. They don't have to be the same, so I don't think you've got to make it a complete replica. And of course, I'm going to work my way around now, each one. And draw in these little shapes. You don't, don't rush these, take your time with them. Don't think you've got to keep up with me. But as we go along, it starts to build up a little bit. See there, I'm going to get a little bit in. On into that one and along. Let's see that. So I'm just going to go back around. Sometimes you know, the pen's working brilliantly, and then it just sort of has a little bit of a hiccup part way through. So you just have to be aware of that. Gel pens are funny little things, but they work really well. And of course, if you wanted to, you could use different colours. I know some of you got my gel pens. I've not had them out for a while. You can mix and match and do different. This would look nice in that matte blue, wouldn't it? That's uh, in that set. I'm going to have to sort mine out through my little cupboard. But we had to tidy up and then if they're not on the desk, I don't always tend to use them. It's by the time you've got them out. But for now, the white's fine. Okay, just going through, look and checking that got this on each of them. See, it's all missed a spot there. That one. Okay, got a bit of everything going on there. So at this point I can come in and I'm going to draw those shapes in now. You know the ones we did with the chalk to start with? So this is where you know, if something's gone sort of over and under. It's fine now because can mix them in as you go. See this one here? Then just draw in the bit that I need. And just as you would use a regular pen, 
you know, stop and start if you need to. Don't try and think you've got to do the whole thing in one go. You can go back over if you need to. And now I wonder what this actually looks like if you're using a regular tile. Sort of the opposite colours of what I'm using. So you'd be using a black pen. Or maybe a different colour pen. Who knows? Maybe you're going to use lots of different colours. Okay. And last little bit for that. Let's have a look there. Okay. So we've got this bit here. Um, now you notice I'm turning it. So I'm actually not leaning on any of tile because if it's a little bit wet with that gel taking a bit longer I'm going to smudge it I don't want to do that so wherever I can I'm trying to not go in and touch it as much and of course I've got this one I'm see I'm not going to do that bit there because that's going underneath now so I don't need it Around. So I've got the uh, double line. Let me see how that one's sort of sitting over the top of it. Well, that's fine. And of course, you can make a couple of amendments if you need to because we've used the white pencil there. Okay. So, working on that, my little, with the look, I can get rid of those bits now. Don't need them. It sort of sits. So I've got some space lying around. I still want to add a few extra bits and pieces. So I'm going to sort of start here. So let's do it that way. And I'm going to put in a letter C across the whole thing. C. And then thicken it up a bit. Now I'm going to just zoom in so you can see that a bit closer. All right, so I've done letter C and then I've come on the inside and thickened it up a bit. Let's fill that in there. Okay, it looks like a little thin, like a thin bead, doesn't it? And then underneath it, when I say underneath, sort of, here we go. Here we go. I'm sort of redefining those bubbles by adding some extra lines. I've been around it a couple of times there. And then on the end, I'm going to create a little teardrop. Let's go to the point. And then again, either side, those little sort of leaf shapes. Let's have a look at how that sits. Okay. So let's find another space. See, sort of here. And let's come on in with that C again. And thicken it up. And then this time, look, I'm going to come in here. So it doesn't matter really how many bubbles you've got in. It depends on the space there. But then you need the space at the end to create those little shapes like that. I notice I've not put the curls on this. I've just left them as the simple one. I'm going to see how I feel with that afterwards. So let's put another. Now, you see at the moment, they're both pointing down. I don't really want to do that with everything so I'm gonna add them in different places and get them all sort of pointing in different directions so again bubbles and then again reinforcing like going around a couple of times and then coming in and then adding those little leaf shapes see so then one here look now let's have a look at my C's. Now what if I did a C in the opposite direction? I'd still do it, right? And then use my bubbles to put my shape in the space that I've got. Just like that. Little lines. Okay, what about, let's have a look. One here. So again, you can do a, a C whichever way like you want, left or right, facing, it doesn't matter. Have a bit of a mixture, and then there you go, another one of those shapes on the top there. Okay, what about um, 
one hanging sort of down. Do I want it down here or here? Let's go here. Let's do it that way. Again, I'll fill it in. And then wand around. And then back in. It's almost like they're having little charms hanging off a bracelet, isn't it? Let's bring one in here. So I'm now looking for gaps. I'm looking for the space that I've got. And using the bubbles to take my piece or my little shape into the space that I've got and adding them in. Okay. So one sort of down here and then we'll review and see how many. They're going around a couple of times. You can fill them in if you like. There's something really satisfying about filling something in with a white gel pen. But I'm resisting that. Stick it with the black. So I've got quite a few hanging off there. What about this end here? Do I want another one? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do another one. So let's go this way. And uh, maybe just a couple look. It's a little bit closer. And into there. Okay. So I can finish off that a little bit. I want to put some little bubbles in place just because it's really satisfying drawing bubbles with a gel pen. Now you see some of them, they're dots. It's bubble look, bubble, dots. And I'm going I'm kind of round the outside of it. A couple there, look. More sort of dots okay so let's have a little look at this um, shape on the inside now I just want to remove you see there where I've got a little bit like a little bit of chalk still now I know that that's dry I've left it a little while I can go in and remove it so anywhere that you've got a little bit of that because we want to we want to decide where we're going to put the the chalk up so we don't want it where it's sort of looking just to help us draw the image okay it's about done there doesn't take much so I'm going to stick with the pen and working around the shape so let's sort of start at one side now you could do this either way so I'm going to do like little C's so it's going to be that way you could do it opposite if you wanted to now what I'm going to do is almost, I'll zoom in, I'll do a few then I'll zoom in. It's not going to be like a full C. Let's have a look at this. Okay, it's sort of like a, a almost like a part one. Some are going to be a little bit bigger than others. And I'm going to move it around the shape as I'm going. See, so some are smaller than others, and it sort of works its way around. And then see, it's going underneath there, and it's kind of coming back out here, putting those little lines on. And uh, you know, they just need a few of them, so they're not all touching. So that's one of them. So then looking at the other, because we want a little bit of a difference, I'm going to come down with a little dotted line. I do like doing these dotted lines. Almost as much as I like doing bubbles. So you can go down the centre. You could go to one side. Or if yours are wide enough, you could put one on each side. But mine's not wide enough for that. So it's going to go down the middle-ish. <laughs> Never measure. Life's too short to measure where one side or the other of your like dotted line can go. And as we work our way around, let's see how it sort of works its way around. 
real. So it's sort of giving that little bit of a, a, a sort of a jump up now. It's not as hid in the background as it was. I'm going to start with a little bit of coloured pencil. Uh, because I'm working on black, not all of the coloured pencils will sort of show up. But if you've got some of the brighter ones, uh, it will. But, you know, it's entirely up to you. So I've got my sort of my, my greens, my sea blue, my dark sea blue and my summer sky here. And I'm going to put a bit of that in. I think I'm going to sort of come in with mid-sea and add it into those... Um, sort of center pieces now if I go in a little bit more you see so you can sort of see that uh, so I'm not filling the whole thing in look just doing that bottom edge of course the yellows and the orange would work and the peach would work well um, tell you what else would brown sugar would work beautifully but it's not like we want to completely fill everything it's just um Giving it a little hint of colour there. And of course, you can mix them up a bit if you want to as well. And a little bit in there. So let's um, do a little bit on the beads as well. Ooh. Like so. In there. And I've got another one somewhere. There it is. Okay. So we're bringing my summer sky, which we'd all like to see a bit more of. It's coming. Summer's coming. So what I'm going to do, look, is fill it. Now when I say fill, we're going to come back in with a white pencil. So not to matter if um, not all of it's completely covered. Remember, it's sort of a little gesture there. We're not trying to create a complete blend. So obviously I've got none in there at all. Let's put a bit of that in. All right, makes sense? Of course. Now I'm going to bring my white pencil, not my chalk on this occasion, my actual white pencil. All right, so you see the difference? That's my white pencil. And my chalk pencil looks like that. So I'm going to go back over, sort of at the top edge really, and put some white in. Okay, same with the little bead. And sort of uh, almost blends it in. I might have to come back in with a bit of colour again. But well, let's put this bit of white in first and see what's going to happen. You see? Makes, makes sense there. Okay, let's go out a bit. So I'm going to work my way around each one of those. Again, never think about pressing on too much. You just want to apply a little bit. But the layers are going to sort themselves out, okay? So, bring that sort of dark one back in. See, I'm going to add that bit in there. Now, of course, if you are using a regular pencil and you're not wanting to add colour, that's fine. But you're going to add your pencil to the bottom edge where I first added this colour and then blend out with a tortillon and if you're using a white pencil because you're on black or a darker tile then you would do the same with your chalk pencil put in there a bit of that summer sky back in it doesn't take much because they're so small you don't need to seriously blend them it's sort of going to do it all by itself but it's amazing you know when you get the right colors they, they just do they just work okay so a little bit of um my sunny green and this time i'm not going to blend anything with these i'm going to go over the the leaf shapes with a little bit of that so one colour. If it goes over the white pen, that's fine. It just adds to it as well. That's okay. There you see, just working over it a couple of times and giving it that little hint. It's almost like an acidy kind of green, it really it shows up. It 
it's uh, remembering which way round and you're know, getting all of them in. Cause... Okay. And into there. Just one there. Okay, let's have a little look at that. I see you've got a bit of colour in there now. So I'm going to come back to my chalky pencil. And where I've got these little rows of shapes, because they're over and under, I'm going to do a little bit of shading. So let's take this one here, for example. I'm going to come on the underneath of that, over everything. No, don't be shy with it. You see? And then as it goes underneath, it's coming out here. Well, I've missed a blue there, but I'm, that's okay. I'm going to put it into a bit of shadow. So it's going to sit under there. Again, look, I've not been shy with the, the pencil. I've got some in there. Okay. So then I'm not... I am. I'm going to do the other side as well. I was going to say I'm not then, but I am. Oh, I talk about changing my mind. So around there and again. I'm not pressing on particularly. I can always add more if I need to. Okay. So same sort of thing here, look. And uh, keep my... I'm not pressing on uh, much at all. And certainly where the, the wax pencil's been, it might not want to take. But that's okay. So I could just sort of whisk over it. But it's easier to do it this way than to try and put pencil on after Still doable, but okay. Look. And so I've sort of gone on both sides. There you go. Alright, and in we go. Well, it doesn't matter where we start. I want to soften it off around those edges. Oh, John, I thought I was going to have a cup of tea then. John's wandered in. I thought he hadn't wandered in with a cup of tea. So. <laughs> All right. That's it. Oh, it's upstairs, John, with the felt. Okay. Sorry, I nicked his tape measure earlier. I was cutting felt for the Mackenzie kit. And I've left his tape measure up there. <laughs> you see? Softening it round. Well, I don't want I don't want any of this on the in you know the inside where we've added that bit of decoration. Just want it on the outer edges. There you go. Okay, so you know wherever it takes you, got this on there. You can keep looking at it, going right up to the edge, but softening it off as it gets further into that black. Really enjoy working on this today. Actually, it's not very often I say I, I use black, although it, it looks fab. I should draw more on black. I should all draw more on darker. It's it's amazing. Those colours really pop, you know, when you when you add it. It's just I think seeing it, isn't it, in the first instance. But as I've done today, it's a white pencil, not chalk it. Disappears well enough. Okay. And along we go. See, I'm going to go over that one because, of course, that has gone over the top of there. So we're going to need to. And along there. Okay. So around here. Not far off done that. Let's have a little look at this in a bit. So you're going to ease off the pressure. Ease it off. Now, you'll notice I've done this, but I've not done any there. That's okay. I can come back, see, and add that on. That is, it's, it's tricky, isn't it, thinking where have I put it, where haven't I? So it's going to go over the top there. I don't want Back in it. I wonder how long this tortillon is going to stay white. I must admit they don't do that for long. I'm going to really try and do this. I'm going to try and keep it 
graphite free. Okay. So let's have a little look at that. There it is. I want to just bring a little bit of pencil in now along this edge. So I'm not thinking border or anything. Kind of along the edge. Let's see. That's where there's not much at all. And then this one. And again, back in with that tortillon. And swirls. Just right on the edge. And if you need to, you can put it on a piece of coloured paper to see it. It'll come off my board, so it's not like a, a drawing with a pen. I'm not going to damage anything underneath it. It's just chalk, it's going to rub off. Okay. So what we're we up to this weekend? What's, what's happening in your world? Okay. We've got classes next weekend. So we've got... Um, few projects lined up for you, of course. Who knows what they're going to be? It's all top secret. But isn't that the part of the surprise of not knowing what you're going to be doing till you get here? I like to do that. So, uh, it's supposed to be nice as well. It's supposed to be, you know, too bad weather. So, maybe. But no, I always look forward to that. I love doing classes. It's going to be great fun. See, so sort of soften it off a little bit. And again. Maybe I need a bit of a road trip, you know. Maybe I need to go to a warmer climate and do classes out there. Maybe I should come to Florida. What do you think? I love Florida. We haven't been for a few years, though. There you are. So, last sort of thing, I want to make sure that um, we're getting our overs and unders. So, you see where we've got here? I'm going to come back in with my pen, just like I would with a black pen, really. And make sure that that's definitely sitting over the top, see? And then, of course, another one here, definitely sitting over the top there. If I need to, come back in looking. Just be careful when you do this. Make sure that whatever's underneath is dry. Put those in, maybe a little highlight look on the, the beads. Just does that final little touch. And a bit of a glossy accents on there. Okay, done that, done that, done that. All my little Charms are on there safely enough, or secure. So let's have a little look. And there we go. So we've got sort of an interlocking, or two interlocking little bracelets with little charms going on there. A bit of a signature, as always. And there you go. So with that in mind, have a lovely weekend, everybody. Enjoy uh, the weather or whatever it is you're going to be doing. And I'll catch up with you again on um, Tuesday at 2 o'clock, as per usual, for our next tile. So until then, take care. See you soon. Bye. Bye.